Hi, I'm Darren and welcome to New Factory Classics and here is everything that I want to see in Spider-Man 4, 5, and 6. Earlier this year it was confirmed that Tom Holland's deal with Sony and Marvel would be extended all the way through Spider-Man's 4, 5, and 6. This deal also includes other Marvel movies like Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. Last week Sony and Marvel came to a new agreement in how to license the villains that Sony currently owns. The new arrangement will actually allow Marvel to use some of the Sony villains that were previously unavailable to them. As long as they wait at least 30 days after the previous movie that the villain was in is out on video on demand, Marvel can use it. So what exactly does that mean? Well let's use the example of Venom. Venom The Last Dance comes out in late October. And probably that movie will be out on video on demand in January. Meaning that theoretically Marvel could use Venom in one of their movies as early as middle of February. Now will Marvel actually use Venom as early as middle of February? Absolutely not. But they could actually use Venom in Spider-Man 4 which is scheduled to come out in 2026. So now that we have Tom Holland for at least three more movies that are specifically Spider-Man and the ability to use Spider-Man villains, what exactly would I like to see? Number one, Venom. I'd really like to see the black suit Spider-Man show up in the MCU. Of course, we had a brief stint of it at the end of the original Spider-Man 3, though I don't think that movie came out too well. I want the real thing though. I want the real Venom to join the MCU. I want the whole story of him taking over Spider-Man, Spider-Man not knowing what to do and eventually getting rid of him with some sort of bell or rocket ship to make it come off of him. And the fact is, is if we add Venom to an already established Spider-Man universe, it could really be good. So I say, bring on the symbiote. Number two, Miles Morales. Between his own set of comic books, the Spider-Verse movies, and all the Spider-Man video games that have come out for PlayStation, Miles Morales has been officially introduced to the general population now. And I think it's time to bring him into live action. I think that you need to introduce him in Spider-Man 5 so then he can take over for the retiring Tom Holland by the end of Spider-Man 6. Think about it, by the time Spider-Man 6 comes out, Tom Holland will almost be 40 years old. That's right, you officially feel old now. Number three, the Sinister Six. All right, let's not forget the fact that kind of the Sinister Six appeared at the end of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but that was really a post credit scene. I want a fully fleshed out army of baddies coming after Spider-Man. We deserve an absolutely massive send off for the character. And what better way to end Spider-Man 6 than to have all six villains coming after and trying to kill him. So what do you think? Are you wanting to see Venom, Miles Morales, or the Sinister Six show up in the MCU? What do you want to see happen to Peter in his final three outings? Let me know in the comments. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And while you're at it, leave a comment on my channel. I so desperately crave the acceptance of Strangers Online.